You feel like in a lot of my videos, I get a ton of questions about my office and basically the way that it's set up and what's inside of it, what I use for gear and things of that nature. So I want to make a video to give you guys just a basic tour of my office. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna try and go through this as fast as possible. I did spend a lot of time on the desk. So we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth about the things around that. But if you guys have any questions about some of the stuff you see, or if you want me to make a more in depth video about it, then just let me know and I'll probably make a short video or another long form video kind of discussing some of that stuff. But comments would be greatly appreciated so I can go ahead and explain to you more about some of the things that are in my room and why they're here. I felt it was necessary to make another video like this because the last time I made an office tour was basically in July, 2020 of 2021. And there's been a good amount that's changed since then. Also, one more thing before I dive into this, there are gonna be a lot of affiliate links down below. They are absolutely free to use. They don't charge anything, but they do help me out because I get a percentage of what you purchase with it. So in case you have questions or if you guys wanna buy some of the things you see in this, I'm gonna do my best to link everything I can in the description below. So greatly appreciate if you guys use those links. If not, totally cool too. You guys can just, just give me a thumbs up then. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. The big elephant in the room, which is the gaming desk. So yes, I have a separate desk for editing and also gaming, but this is gonna be for gaming. This is the main piece of the room probably, just because of how massive it is. But this is where I game, I watch videos, I hang out with friends and Discord calls and stuff like that, and I also stream on Twitch and TikTok. And this is probably where I spend the majority of my time in my office. Now the newest addition to this is gonna be the Herman Miller Aeron chair that I got. I did get one that was used because I didn't feel like spending the close to $2,000 to get a brand new one. And to be completely honest, I'm super stoked that I actually got the used one. If you guys wanna know how I did it, I did make a short video on that, but I'm also gonna do a full review on my experience with that and also what I think of this chair. But I gotta say, this thing is super comfortable and I feel like it has helped my posture quite a bit since I got the chair. Now the actual desk itself is gonna be the do-it-yourself kit by Uplift and it is the commercial version. Now the reason why I got this one is because the maximum standing height and the lowest sitting point are gonna be much different than just the regular one. And I felt like with previous versions of sit stand desks I had, I didn't go low enough, so I decided to get this one. For the wood top, I actually got a six foot bushel block from Home Depot. The reason why I got this, cause it's more durable than what Ikea sells. It's also actual hard wood instead of like wood veneer. And also I got to completely customize this myself by giving it some shellac to give it that nice shine that you see on top of it. And I got an Elgato LED strip. The reason why I got that is because I wanted zero flicker if I was gonna be filming against this or showing product on my desk. And another reason why I have this LED strip is because it breaks it off from the actual background. So it's a lot easier if I'm gaming late night and staring at my monitors, it's much easier on my eyes. Now for the monitors, I do have a three mismatch monitors. They are 24 inches, but they're all being held up by a Hano. I believe that's how you say it, Hano, 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 hang on, Huanuo. I have no idea how to pronounce it. <laughs> They're all being held up by these three arms. The reason why I got these ones individually is because I wanted to be able to adjust each one so that way they fit perfectly and also it's completely ergonomic. A lot of the stuff that I did with my desk setup is gonna be ergonomical because I wanted to make sure I was ergonomically sitting and not hurting my back. Also, to be fair, I don't think ergonomical is a word. Let me know if it is. <laughs> but for the three monitors I do have, I have a super old BenQ. I think I got this thing back in like 2013. I'm still just using it for my stream PC. And then I have for my main monitors, I have my old Asus gaming monitor, and then I have a Acer Predator. This Acer Predator is a 244 Hertz, so it's perfect for me playing Apex and things like that because I do play a lot of fast-paced shooters and BRs. So the BenQ monitor that I have is actually hooked up to my stream PC, which is a pre-built Corsair computer. Now this is a part of their Vengeance line, so it is rocking the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, as well as 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I also have the 3070 RTX reference build card inside of it. Now, even when I first got this PC, I really felt like I was lacking when it came to streaming and gaming at the same time. So that's actually what pushed me to spend a boatload of money building a second PC and upgrading my customized PC that I've had for a while. The gaming PC itself is actually housed inside of the NZXT H510 Elite series in white. And I've actually had this case for a little bit, but I'm still really happy with it because of the glass and the RGB that's inside of it. Inside of this computer, you can find an ASUS Z690 E ROG Strix motherboard. For the processor, I went with the i9-12900K. It also has 32 gigabytes of DDR5 Corsair Dominator RGB RAM, a reference build RTX 3070 Ti. And I gotta say this PC is a powerhouse. It runs everything I need to without any problems or anything like that. It can easily run games like Elden Ring, Apex, and a bunch of other games. I literally have no issue and it's a dream to use a dual PC setup. And if you guys actually have questions about a dual PC setup, I actually made an entire guide on how to do it from start to finish, whether it's hooking up all the cables, routing your audio and stuff like that. So as long as you have a Go XLR or a Go XLR Mini, you can go ahead and follow that guide and I will tell you how to set up your perfect dual PC setup. Speaking of the Go XLR Mini, so I'm actually rocking a Go XLR Mini in my setup as well as the Shure SM7B. 
pair together, these things sound fantastic. It gives me all the controls that I want on my Go XLR Mini. I used to have the full size Go XLR, but that died, so. Can I get an F in the chat for that? Now, the Sheraton 7B is being held up by the Elgato Wave Mic Arm LP. I got the low profile version because I wanted to be able to just easily push it out of the way if I didn't want to use it. And I also love how the cables are routed inside of the actual mic arm itself. Now for sound, I'm actually rocking two Bose speakers that are connected to the computer. This just allows me to be able to listen to stuff if I don't feel like wearing headphones. So if I wanna sit down and watch a Twitch stream or if I wanna watch YouTube videos and stuff like that, I can go ahead and do that without having to worry about having my headphones in. Whenever I do choose to use headphones, I am using these IEMs that I got off of Amazon. Now I don't really know the name of these, so I'll put it somewhere on the screen, but I absolutely love these things and I've had them for over a year now and they are fantastic. Even whenever I'm playing games with directional sound, it's super easy to tell where things are coming from. They're absolutely comfortable and they're not super clunky and huge because to be honest, I got tired of wearing over the ear headphones. So these IEMs have been my main driver when I am rocking headphones. I'm not gonna lie, I also just love the minimal look whenever I'm on stream, which speaking of that, I have two stream decks that I've connected. One is gonna be connected to my stream PC. The other one is gonna be connected to my gaming PC. The stream deck XL is actually connected to my stream PC, which this actually controls all of my scenes and things like that. And then the Stream Deck Plus is actually connected to my gaming computer. So this controls my audio, my music, as well as my different effects and things like that that I have on stream. Also, if you guys haven't checked out the Stream Deck Plus, it is an amazing Stream Deck and I freaking love that thing. I'm definitely gonna be making a video on that, a full length review on it, but in case you guys haven't checked it out, it's definitely worth it. Now for the keyboard that I'm rocking, it is actually the High Ground and Gundam collaboration they did on the Summit keyboard. Summit keyboard is just a higher end keyboard that they offer and this thing sounds fantastic. It's heavy, it's durable, it's got beautiful RGB lights on it, and I love the sound of typing on it. I mean, here, take a listen for yourself. Needless to say, I'm actually loving this keyboard and this is currently my main driver. Now for the mouse, I'm actually pairing it up with the Logitech Pro X Superlight in pink, because pink is awesome, duh. But this mouse is absolutely phenomenal. Even though I have big hands, I personally don't really care for massive sized mice. I like to be able to easily grip this mouse and this thing is perfect. It's lightweight, it tracks very well, the battery lasts forever, and I have no complaints about this mouse. And even though it's wireless, I'm still able to sweat my absolute face off whenever I'm playing Apex and not have a problem with it. I mean, I have a problem with like sweating, but not the mouse, so you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Now, both of these do sit on my high ground Hunter Thieves actual mouse pad. However, I think I'm gonna be switching this out for one that's more appropriate for it, just because the colors kind of clash with the keyboard. So I'm gonna be changing that probably here soon. I love that mouse pad. It's just the colors don't go with it very well. I might actually pick up another high ground mouse pad. Now for my camera, when I am streaming on TikTok or on Twitch, I actually use the Sony a7C with the 20 millimeter G lens from Sony. This is a beautiful combination. It's absolutely phenomenal. I probably would not recommend people going out and buying it if it's your first camera, but I actually had a second full frame body and I was like, why not use it? Now I do use this as my B cam and thankfully with the quick release plate from newer, it makes it super easy to take it off and put it back on. But this camera is a dream to use and I absolutely love this thing. Now this is being held up by the Elgato Master Mount S. I like this one just because it is shorter than their regular L version because the L version is much larger. L for large, S for small, in case you didn't know. Then I'm also using another Elgato arm for an overhead camera. So in case I'm opening up Pokemon cards or if I want to show off my desk, then I can go ahead and do that with this cool little overhead cam that I can just easily put away. And if you want to make that overhead cam yourself, you guessed it, I made a video about it. So link in the description. Now for the lighting, I just use one key light air. Luckily enough, using a full frame camera with a prime lens, I'm easily able to use this in low light and not have to worry about it. So using the key light bouncing off the wall produces a beautiful soft light and it's just kind of a chill vibe that I'm going for with this. Now quickly to run through this, this is gonna be all my desk accessories I have because <laughs> I got a lot of them. If you couldn't tell, I like to collect stuff a lot like too much. So on my desk, I actually have a Nessie because I love Apex and I think Nessies are freaking cute. And if you don't think they're cute, then I think there's just something wrong with you. And then I have two sleeping Pokemon on my desk. My friend Anna actually got me one for Christmas. So thank you very much, Anna, for doing that. I appreciate it. She got me the sleep Bulbasaur, which I absolutely love. And I fell in love with it so much. I have decided I need to get a sleeping Snorlax. And funny enough, the video that I made about these actually blew up on TikTok and other places. So that's actually still my most popular video to this date. Fun little fact. I also have a Supreme Pen. I actually originally bought this thing thinking I was just gonna resell it, but I ended up starting to journal and stuff like that. And I was like, I want a fancy pen. So I do own an $80 pen that I use. So I don't know, clout, I guess. <laughs> $80 pen clout gang, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> 
Then I also have this control keychain of a shaker. I love the red shaker, it's probably my favorite shaker they actually have. And this is one of the many collectibles that I got from Control and I absolutely love those things. Hashtag not an ad, but definitely sponsored. Code IMB Paula. And lastly is my Animal Crossing Switch. I absolutely love this Switch and I was really regretful whenever I didn't buy it when it got originally released, but then they decided to do a second wave of them and I am so glad that I bought it because just look at how beautiful this thing is. The details on the back, the colors. So needless to say, I absolutely love this thing. And I am a huge sweat at Mario Kart. So if you guys ever wanna play, let me know. Cause I love, love Mario Kart and I will beat you. So now let's go ahead and move on to the editing desk, which is right here. This is a very simple desk that I got from a friend. I like this desk cause it's lightweight, it looks nice and it's easy to move around my room. So in case I wanna do head on talking videos like this, I can do that. And on this desk, you can find my MacBook M1 Pro. This is the 14 inch and this is the base model version I got. I got it originally because I wanted to travel and edit on the go, but then I found out quickly that this thing is an absolute beast when it comes to editing. So I just literally use this full time. Yes, I have a computer with two monitors attached to it and I still choose to use my 14 inch MacBook over it because it's that much faster. The mouse I decided to pair with this is the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S. Now this thing is an absolute beast. It is an older mouse, but this thing is fantastic. It's got long battery life. I've only charged it once or twice since owning it for like six months to almost a year now. I also used it during TwitchCon when I was editing on a glass table and it tracked perfectly fine. Plus this thing has an infinite scroll wheel, which is super nice when you're browsing the web. I can't say enough good things. This is like the perfect mouse for on the go editing and even just regular editing. Now both of these are actually gonna be sitting on the Bad Seed Tech mouse pad. I love having this there because when I'm doing head over shots, it actually gives really nice texture to the desk as well. It's a super soft surface to be able to edit on. So this thing is not going anywhere. Also shout out to Bad Seed Tech. Dude's amazing. If you haven't seen his videos, go check him out. And for recording these said videos, I actually use what I'm using right now is the a7 IV with the 16 to 35 G Master and the electronic microphone from Sony. This is like a dream come true for this setup and I worked really hard to get it, but this is easily my favorite camera and I love, love, love using this thing. Photos, videos, this thing will destroy anything that you throw at it. Now for audio, whenever I'm vlogging, I do use the Sony microphone. However, I actually, for head on talking portions like this, I use the DDS Mic 2S, which is connected to my old Rode boom arm and it goes right into my H5 zoom recorder. I do this because that way I can actually get my microphone super close. So for instance, my finger is touching that microphone. No, it's not touching, not touching, not touching. So I bring it a lot closer so it helps cut out some of the reverb in my room because I know that my reverb is really bad in this place but this mic also sounds amazing and is great for recording clean audio. Now for my main light, I'm using the Godox SL60W, which is also paired with the Light Dome Mini 2 by Aperture. Now this is the perfect combo for me because the light is very beautiful and it's very accurate. I also really like the Light Dome Mini because it's soft and also you can bring it in between any room. And also I keep this up constantly in my room so that way it's not too large just to have it set up all the time. Now, next to this, I have a rolling cart. I'm not gonna dive too deep into this unless you guys really want me to make another video about it, but this is like a hidden gem of YouTuber offices that you just probably don't know about. This thing has all my chargers, cables, camera accessories, and things of that nature. It's literally super awesome for keeping organized. I can roll it around my room wherever I want to. This thing is an absolute must have in any office. I cannot stress it enough how much I love this one. I also got the one with the wooden top on it so that way I can shoot against it if I'm doing product photography and stuff too, just to give me some different textures. But I absolutely love this thing. Now next to that, I actually have an Ikea shelf, which is just basically full of collectibles for the most part. You will find a random graphics card on there. Don't even ask. <laughs> but you can find camera gear, Pokemon figures, Pokemon cards, Amiibos, shaker cups I've collected over the years, and a bunch of other little collectibles that I have sitting there. My whole idea is that hopefully this actually gets people to talk about that stuff and kind of like strike up a conversation when they're watching my streams or even too if they just kind of like if I have friends over that visit, they can just see the cool collectible stuff that I've purchased over the years and spent ridiculous amounts of money on. Oh, and this also has a hug cam on it in case you guys were wondering. So, and if you don't know what the hug cam is, you probably need to catch one of my streams. If you know, you know. And then lastly on there, I have two tube lights that I use basically just to put somewhere to get some RGB. So as you can see actually from this shot, I have one right here. And then I also have one right behind my head to give me kind of like a halo effect. I absolutely love tube lights and I really want to get some more of these. So hey, Godox or Aperture, if you guys see this, I would absolutely love to get my hands on full size tubes and I would be grateful and make lots of videos and love them forever. But seriously, I do plan on upgrading to other tube lights that are constantly running as well as battery powered. So in a future video, hopefully I'll upgrade to those. 
And lastly is the closet, which from last time is now a complete shelving unit that I have. If you guys didn't watch my previous video, go ahead and check that out. But basically I had this Ikea shelving unit that didn't have these drawers, which I do now have. So we finally did it. It only took us like a year or two to actually get those shelves. Now on this, you can find all my advanced tubs, extra equipment, my camera equipment, some pop figures. Shout out to my buddy Jealous for giving those two pop figures. I got really into Full Metal Alchemist and I love that series, Brotherhood by the way. And he was the one that turned me on to it. So super stoked that I actually got that and uh, he gave me those. So pretty stoked to have those on the shelf. Now the drawers themselves, I do need to organize them, but mostly it's gonna be keyboards or keyboard tools and stuff like that for building them, as well as a couple other like random cables and things of that nature. And on the bottom shelf, we actually have the shelf with all my bags on it, which this is only a couple of my bags because I do have an addiction, so. But for the bags I have, I have the Peak Design 20 liter bag, the Peak Design 6 liter bag, the 5 liter bag, and my favorite bag of all is gonna be the Peter McKinnon Nomadic 25 liter everyday carry bag. This bag is the bag that I will carry anywhere wherever I'm actually traveling or from going to a shoot location. This carries everything that I need and more, and it does it very organized, and that's what I love about it. So I already made an unboxing video about that, but I'm gonna do a full review on that bag and why it's my favorite bag. I literally cannot say enough good things about this backpack, and it's just so gorgeous. Now I do store some other like light poles and stuff like that, like my C-stand in here as well, and some sandbags. And then last but not least about my closet is that there is a Lithex LED strip light on there, which is really awesome. I love this thing. It's controlled by HomeKit. It's also got individual addressable zones, so you can make it multicolored at the same time. Instead of having an actual light in the closet, I literally just use this, or it's just a background light wherever I'm streaming. I mean, you can literally see it from here right now too, which is cool. But that is it. Thank you guys. Wow, I'm sorry. This was a long video. I tried not to dive too deep into stuff, but I also wanted to give you like a rhyme or reason behind why things are here. If you guys want more information about anything in my office, just let me know and I'll make some videos for you guys. Also, again, if you are looking to purchase some of this stuff, I do have affiliate links down below. It helps me out, doesn't charge you anything, but it just helps me out if you use those links. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to learn more about any of the products and stuff that I have, just let me know in the comment section down below, or just let me know what you thought was the coolest piece of my office. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of tutorials and how to, and also reviews on products and stuff like that, as well as vlogs. Really appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button and also follow me on TikTok and Twitch to catch me live whenever I'm streaming, sweating my face off playing Apex. Thank you guys so much. God, that was a long recording. Love you. I'm out. Till next time.